Hey guys, BigLegees101 here with you tonight with, well, first off, I want to just go ahead and show you guys my epic new drawing. Um, well, my new epic Dragon Ball Z drawing of Future Trunks. I went ahead and added every single shadow of de the detail of shadow along the hair there, along the jacket, because it's, well, coming towards his front, and that's going to be covering it slightly. Anyway, yeah, on to what I'm doing. My father and I went to Walmart. Because they had hyperblades. And check out what I got. Brain spanking new. Fairy Aries, DD, and J Jupiter S130 and RB. In this video, I shall be unboxing Fairy Aries Delta Drive. Let me go and show you the original Hasbro No Mode Change Special Toys R Us version. Supposed to be 145V, but for some reason the choice of a special comes with 130, just like on J Jupiter. So, yeah, that's what that one looks like. And there's what Hyperblades looks like. So, let me show you the back. Please note that this year is the first and only Beyblade to have ever existed that only consisted of three actual separate parts which is the Fusion Wheel Dash Energy Ring, Very Aries, or Very Aries 1, actually. This year it is Very Aries. Face Bolt. And last but not least, Delta Drive, that consists of the spike tip, wide ball, not just wide, and flat. And the Very Aries wheel can change from attack to defense and can spin left and right. It is a very powerful bay and attack mode, but it takes high recoil. So now then, on to the actual unboxing. By the way, these are my second and my third hyperblades. I'm so stoked to be able to have them. My friend Austin is going to be so jealous. By the way, you can subscribe to him. He doesn't really do YouTube videos, but still subscribe to him. He is Chaos Lord, 1795, I believe. So here we have a nice colored, blue colored monster. Ooh, nice aqua colored, I believe, aqua colored tool. And a very cool looking indigo. Hmm. Rip cord, there's the instructions, won't really, you know what, I'll go ahead and open it, alright, so here's the instructions, what the, this looks like it could be a screw up, what the fudge, this is hmm, very Aries I'm unboxing, right? What the heck? Okay, I recently saw this in one of Zanke's videos. Or no, wait, somebody else's video, maybe? Maybe it was Zanke's, I don't know. But it was still t a total screw-up on Hasbro's part. Hasbro is notorious for its screw-ups. But yeah, what happened is that it came with a Scythe Kronos code for some reason. Though it ought not have. Oh yeah, you know, out of the way, on to the awesome bay. Here we have the Very Aries Space Bowl, Very Aries Wheel. Check that out. Yellow that comes into place there. It's nice and heavier. Okay, this here is unarguably wiggly. Can we change modes? You simply pull it up a bit. There's Spike. And then, there is the Wide Ball. If it would stay in place. Okay, that's just screwed up. Okay. Man, like this, it could probably change modes during battle. Ugh. Yeah, let me go ahead and do a right spin test of each mode. By the way... The spike tip, just from common knowledge, is going to be hmm, rather loose. Here, I'm going to use my light launcher, too. This here is flat mode. Here we go. Three, two, one. Spin. What the heck? This is spike mode, right? What the heck? What is this? Defective? That's just screwed up, man. There we go. Ow. All right, 
right, so let's try Hasbro Rights Fin Launcher. Alrighty then. Now then, let's go to, um, let's see here, what should I do here? Let's try Spike. Yeah. Watch this. Let's see if we can get them to come out. Yep, it's turned into a wall. You can hear it now. Alright, and last but not least... Wide ball style. Ah, oh, shoot, it screwed up again. Yeah. Yeah, apparently Wide Ball is notorious for doing that. Crap! Crap baskets. Man. Oh well. I'm gonna be using it as an attack type anyways. Here, let's try it like that! Does it work? Nope. Yeah, man, that is a loose rib cord. This Delta drive utterly sucks. They actually work? Nope. Oh my flippin' lord. This is so annoying. There. And it was in its defensive mode from the very start. And so yeah, here's an up close comparison between Hasbro and Hyperblade and Hasbro's well, non Hyperblade versions. As you can see, they look almost exactly the same from there, except for that this one here is heavier and can go like that. And then there's the Delta Drive kit. Honestly, if you were to be using Wide Ball, I would highly suggest using 145WB more. Or in this case, 130WB. Like, um, let me go ahead and have a little test battle. I'm going to launch them rather weekly, just for the sake of pain. This is the first time I'm ever using either. Hold on. I'm going to... Here, let me relaunch. I'm going to use this one here in flat mode. This one here is obviously going to be full-out defense to its best. Alright, and Hasbro's Hyperblade version takes the win. Whoa, that took pain off easily. Dang. That kind of sucks. Oh well. It's still worth getting. Let's see how much pain came off of this one. Oh my gosh, none. Well, it appears to be none. So either way, this has been a review of Hasbro's Hyperblade version of Airy Aries Delta Drive. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, back. Peace out. Darn it.